serious. The possibility of a zombie outbreak is a very real one. One that science has proven, and I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the proven zombies that we have in our society today, as well as what you can do as students and as people and individuals to help prepare yourselves for the inevitable. Now it's coming. We've seen it in popular media, like the movie The Happening, we had brain parasites that were taking over people's brains and removing their ability to self-preservation was removed. This is what we have in real life, <laughs> Toxoplasmosogani. This is actually a brain parasite that can only survive in the intestines of a cat. So what the parasite does is it goes inside a rat and it removes the rat's ability to sense danger, lures the rat directly into a cat, the cat eats it, thereby getting into the cat's digestive system and reproducing. Now the scary thing is, is half the world is already infected with this, and I'm not making this up. Um, some of their symptoms include slower reaction times, um, they're insane, they hallucinate, and then my favorite, they have a tendency to crave raw meat. There are others, like in 28 Days Later, a rage virus, mad cow disease gone on steroids, you can only imagine. There are neurotoxins, nanobots, and neurogenesis, which are ability, the ability for someone to go into your brain and reanimate a dead person's brain tissues. They've already done that with dogs. Now, what are we going to do to survive? I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how you can prepare your families for survival against the inevitable. First thing you need to do is really just stock up on the basics. You need to get your food storage in order. That includes water, dry foods, canned foods, supplies such as like wooden boards to cover up entrances. As I'm sure you've seen in other popular horror movies, that's where zombies enter. You need to stock up on these things. <laughs> Probably most important is also to have a plan. Like families have a fire emergency plan, you need to have a zombie apocalypse family emergency plan. Now communities can combine together their resources and get themselves ready for such an event, but it's probably not likely. This, it just tends to be chaos in all the movies. Reason being is large retail outlets like Walmart, uh, grocery stores like Superstore and whatnot are just flocking with people who aren't prepared and are caught off guard, and what is the first area that's affected? It's hospitals, and then those zombies go to wherever the people are. So a much better defense is in docks and piers where you only have a limited access, because we all know zombies can't swim. Prisons are also really good because they're fortresses. They're bars, they're guarded, zombies can't easily get in. Or you can go in remote locations. You always need to have a backup plan. Staying mobile is probably a really good idea to get to those remote locations. Trucks, SUVs are great if you're a lone wolf. Motorcycles are perfect. Uh, boats are even better. Zombies can't swim. Armored cars, this is for the real zombie prepared um, person. Avoid tractors and buses, they just tend to uh, attract zombies and are too, far too slow moving. Some weapons you can stock up on, you can raid your local history museum for some plate mail or shark uh, skins, or a shark suit would work really well. Um, <laughs> zombies can't bite through it, if a shark can, a zombie can. Uh, you, or if you don't have those things, light clothing, short hair, Zombies like to grab from the hair and then go in for the kill. Um, explosives such as gasoline, Molotov cocktails, which are petrol bombs. Or if you're lucky enough to get your hand on the flamethrower, you can also make your own with a blowtorch and a propane. You also want to keep a good, healthy supply of firearms, pistols, machine guns, assault rifles, bolt action rifles. These things are used to kill your zombies. And if they do get in close, baseball bats, knives, samurai sword, um, <laughs> A chainsaw, a power tool. It works. All right, some helpful suggestions. Before the outbreak, stock up now. Get in shape now. We go in to get in shape for when we go on vacation. This is the ultimate test for survival. So we need to be prepared for endurance. Take care of your tools. Um, train in a group. Fortify your dwellings. If you don't have a bomb shelter, turn your basement into one. It's super easy. Okay. Post outbreak. We want to avoid large groups in shopping centers. Stay connected with other survivors. You want to know where the zombies are and where safe places are, where you can find food. Remain mobile. Get to these groups and move. Sleep in shifts. This is pretty common knowledge, but hey, zombies are on the top of the food chain. Stay close to water 
and move in daylight. Now folks, I know it's a lot to absorb. It's a lot of information. You probably never even knew it was a possibility, but I'm here to tell you it is a possibility. And what we need to do as humans for the survival of humanity is to stick together and prepare now. Thank you for your time.